Welcome back guys, Dutchbot here. And today I'm doing snapshot 14w32a. And the first thing in the snapshot which I'm gonna show you are those colored beacon lines. So if you put a colored glass on top of the beacon, it doesn't matter how high it is, I can also do it here. This will change to the normal color and that would be purple. But you can do this with every single color, stained glass you need to use for it. I don't know if it works with paints, I'm gonna test that right now. A sh does it does change slightly, I think. Yes, it did change. So with paints it works as well. Um, I have here a yellow one and purple one. And if you put two different glasses on top of each other, they'll their colors will get put together and make a new color. It doesn't matter which order you have them in. It will just create a new color. So you can have colored beacons now, which is pretty cool. Then you also have those, this crafting recipe, which sticks, which doesn't work, but it should have been like this, I think. But you have armor stands, and you can use them to put your armor on, as you can see, as you guess with armor stand. And you just right click on the different body parts to take the armor off with empty hand. Or maybe with a item that isn't a, no, you need to do it with empty hand, it will go into the slot your hand slot you have selected and to put the armor back on is you just click on it doesn't matter where you click it will go automatically in the right slot and to get it off it does matter where you click so I can grab the boots from there chest plate from here if I don't have the boots selected and you can just grab the different body parts so then I also um, coarse dirt if you use a hole in it it will change into normal dirt and of course if you hold it again it will be tilt dirt where you can plant your crops on and you can jump on it again and there's no way of changing it back into coarse dirt except for just using gravel I think and dirt together and you get coarse dirt again and also you have red sandstone made from the wet red sand and you craft all these things exactly the same as with the normal uh, sandstone but then from the red sand so this would just be for red sand okay so apparently using the pick block function in the snapshots makes your game crash but basically this one is made from two half slabs those ones which you make from three of those at the bottom line of your crafting table and the smooth one which I'm not gonna use pick block on it uses four of the normal red sandstone together and you get this one and the stairs of course is with si six of these in the stair formation like that stuff and um, yeah there's one more secret feature which I don't know what it is and if I know before I'm gonna upload this video I'll add it in okay so there's another feature with armor stands I forgot it's not the secret feature I talked about but armor stands can actually write in mine cards if you push a minecart against it, it will be inside the minecart. Then if the minecart's rotating, it doesn't affect the armor stand. And if you punch the minecart, the armor stand will just pop out and stand on the block. But not actually on the block, but in the middle, normal. As you place it, it will be in the middle. But it can be anywhere, because it's just an entity actually. And that's why it can be picked up with a minecart. And you can move your armor around doing that. Okay, so I made a mistake with how you craft it. You actually do it by putting a stone half slab right there. And then you will be able to get your very own armor stand. Okay, and there's one more thing to armor stand thing as well. This is just a normal armor, st armor stand. And you can also make them small, but you will have to use command blocks for this, or just commands. And the way you do it is by adding the tag small, and you'll get the small guy. This one also has air arms. Why did they say that? That's weird. This one also has arms, and you can put items in them. But on the small guys, the items in the arms are a little bit at the wrong positioning, and a little bit weird. But you can put the arms in by show arms. You can also give them no gravity, so they'll just fly in mid-air if you make them. 
that's by doing no gravity and you can also make them invisible which is by doing invisible and you can also give them a pose and this one has like <laughs> kind of the TNT flying up in the air because it's a small guy and the items are not displayed correctly but this one has the item flying actually on his hand lying it well they have actually the same tags except for the small tag so the pose is made by using um, I have show arms on so you can actually see the arms from the pose as well but you can use pose and you can use a right arm and then you need three floats which you do like that, my mouse maybe in kind of in a way and you can do the same for left arm and the head, the body, left leg, right leg and that's it and you can change how all the different parts are on the thing um, and I think there's one for the uh, platform underneath as well which I don't know but yeah I think that was actually it for today A snapshot Oh no wait, there is one more thing, I forgot. The secret feature has been found by someone. And it is if you summon a monster, for instance I'll summon a creeper. You can add a tag called no AI. If you put that to one or true, you can summon a creeper that just doesn't have any AI. And that basically means that if I go into game mode, that's not how you spell game mode game mode 0 it won't even notice me, it won't do anything and my sounds are bugged so you won't hear any sounds but normally you will still hear sounds if you push, punch them but they just don't have an AI anymore, they won't walk, you can push them around they won't explode on you they do still get dead when you punch them which I think is part of the AI as well but apparently not but they just get AI lows and they won't do anything anymore. I don't know what's useful for. It's kind of weird. I'm so bad at spelling that word. And I type it all the time as well. But yeah, that was it for today's snapshot this time. This time was it really the end of the episode for today. So, I hope you enjoyed it, found it useful. And I also hope you to see you all next time. So, bye!